Shalom, shalom. In today's video, I'm talking about how the simple woman has a higher probability of being selected to be a wife. Let's talk about it. Praise to the Most High Yah. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today, I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I see some of these videos out here of these outlandish expectations that some of these single women have, and you wonder why they're out there flapping in the wind. Nobody's giving them the time of day. You know, when we look at inflation the cost of living the cost of goods you know some of these women live in a bubble that's not reality it's dream fairy tale land and i'll tell you you know one of the things that set my wife apart was how simple she was you know our first date was not some extravagant 400 dollars uh non-chain restaurant no by no means you know i said hey let's uh let's grab a bite to eat one of these days and it just so happened to be she was on my side of town during her lunch break and said hey if you're free let's grab lunch you know we went to wing stop i think the total uh price for my meal and her meal was no more than $22 back then. And that was with me. I like wings, so I got a I got a, a eight or a ten piece. She got a little six piece, two drinks, two sides of fries. We was good. You know, some of these women are in it for the wrong vibe. You know, my wife was in it for the vibe of me. The vibe was the conversation that we was having. You know, getting to know one another. Uh, discerning each other, you know, seeing if uh, either one of us had what it takes and ultimately based upon how that date and several dates went and uh, how we progressed, she got the opportunity to be a wife, you know, you know, on a, on a, a, a celebratory type event, you know, I can count on it that my wife she doesn't order food on the menu based upon how expensive it is. Some women do that. They go to the, the, the menu of stuff that they can't read, that they can't pronounce. They see that price tag or see that it doesn't have a price tag. And that's what they want. You know, we're seeing all kind of expectations and, and stuff that men, uh, the type of men that want to marry are not dealing with or not entertaining and these women just pretty much stay out there flapping on and flapping in the wind you know my wife like i said in a in a celebratory fashion you know at most she's gonna get a six ounce steak and it's not even really a a, a prime cut she's not getting filet mignon she's just getting a, a simple cut of steak you know a, a baked potato maybe some mixed vegetables something simple you know i've never seen uh you know the only time that we have went somewhere that was you know expensive in both our eyes was for our anniversary one of our anniversaries and we went somewhere and the bill was like 200 dollars for both of us and it was one of those things I'm, I'm thankful because it was one of those things where we said yeah this was cool but this is not something that you know we tried it once and it was good you know, that didn't develop into a habit of her wanting to uh, eat at this $200 place all the time. And the reason I'm saying that is because a lot of women don't realize their expectations of what a man is supposed to provide and what courting is supposed to look like is completely unrealistic. You know, you yourself are not eating uh, caviar five days a week. You know, my wife don't even eat seafood, so... Back when I was eating unclean, 
you know, seafood. I never had to worry about her eating this stuff, wanting the mm, lobster, mm, you know, she was simple. My wife would get, uh, get some doggone chicken with, with mushroom gave gravy, mashed potatoes, a little broccoli, and be good to go. You know, I live in a town where the most expensive restaurant we have uh, is a hibachi grill. And I want to say if I take my whole family out to eat hibachi, I might be spending 115 bucks, family of five. You know, so that, that goes a long way with uh, a lot of times women that live in these big uh, population centers in cities, these big cities, they're going to have some extravagant taste. You know, but the simple woman will always get selected first, has a higher probability. You know, I wear, I try to stretch out, me being a simple man, I try to stretch out, uh, you know, my Crocs for about a year. And my wife always does a good job rather than just going to the store paying full price. You know, she's always shopping for a sale. So she'll get online and find, uh, you know, Crocs on sale where if I go to Academy or Dick's or somewhere, they're wanting $60 for a pair of Crocs. She'll find a way to get them for 30. You know, th these are all things that women don't think about when they're not getting selected for marriage. You've got expensive taste. You know, and it's not nothing wrong with it. You can, you're free to have uh, the, the expensive taste that you have. But keep in mind, oftentimes your expensive taste comes at the expense of somebody who doesn't really know if you are a good investment. You know, it. I, I feel like a doggone fool if I was to go out and spend $300 on a first date and we didn't hit it off just because this was your expectation. You wanted to be on the beach front and you wanted a whole vibe. Oftentimes, you know, a lot of these women that have these high expectations and expensive tastes on somebody else's dom, they're generally doing this for the optics. You're going to be dealing with a woman that she's going to order something that costs $100 on the menu but she's not going to be engaged in the conversation with you. She's going to be more focused on, you know, putting this food on her social media and, and, and making headlines. It's all about the optics. And, you know, men, chime in in the comments. Chime in in the comments. Do you prefer, uh, you know, a, uh, a woman with very expensive taste on your dime? Or do you appreciate and value uh, the prudent and simplistic woman? You know, you know, the other night we had beans and cornbread for dinner and we tore it up, man. We was sitting here as a family talking about, man, this is good. This is good eating. But you have some of these women that, you know, that that simply won't cook anything like that, that won't uh, eat anything, will turn their nose up to it. And this is why they remain on the shelf, unpurchased, unbought, unselected, unmarried. You know, the first car I bought my wife was a Volkswagen Tiguan, not a top of the line uh, SUV. And at the time I met her, she was in need of a vehicle. You know, we later progressed and, and got married. And I think for her vehicle might have been 32,000. You know, she could have been one of these women that wanted to go uh, to the Mercedes or BMW dealership. Not on my dime. And my wife was very appreciative uh, you know, for the car, it had, it had, you know, three rows, three rows in there seated up to eight, had a nice little get up, was the color she wanted, was leather and all of that. And she was appreciative of it. You know, we're living in a daytime and hour where these women are, are uh, want to be provided for, but they, they make you, they be looking at men like, uh, every man they come across own, owns, uh, you know, oil fields. That's not, no, nah, that's not realistic, you know? And like I said, man, I'm, I'm thankful because coming across my wife, you know, uh, revealed how simple she was compared to some of the other women that I've dated in my past and gone out on different dates with. These women have some uh, crazy expectations. You know, you meet a woman, don't let... Back in the day, don't let you meet a woman and her birthday be around the corner. She's expecting some uh, extravagant, you know, showcase and you don't even know her. I've had 
I've had women tell me I'm too good to eat there. And guess what? They missed out on the opportunity because somebody else wasn't too good. You know, and my wife uh, gets in a, a mood where she's like, oh, I want to go out. Best case scenario, my wife is want to go eat some Mexican food. Go get a nice little margarita. You know, she can enjoy. Get some chips and salsa. And get her go-to, which is tacos. Mexican style tacos. You know? And, and, and the reason I'm making this is, you know, a lot of women don't, they don't get why men don't deal with them. So maybe if a happily married man tells you, you know, what married men are looking for in a woman, maybe you might, maybe you just might be willing to say, you know what, I need to work on myself. Man, I'm thankful for my wife. Uh, when she grocery shops, she's always looking for deals. When I met her, she was looking for deals. My wife would come home with stuff and I'm like, how did you get all this stuff? And she was like, I only spent $20. And I'd be like, man, that's awesome, you know? That's just the kind of woman she was, you know? I can give my, I can give my wife uh, a set of money and she can go out there and make it work. She's not nickel and diamond talking about, I need some more, this ain't enough. I want to go to Whole Foods and I can't shop there with the common folk and the, and the regular people. No, she got women out there like that. You know, every day they got the, you know, they don't have, they don't have uh, $5,000 in the bank account, but want to be wearing $500 worth of clothes. You know, want these expensive high heels that they ain't going to wear no more. They're just going to sit up in the closet. I'm telling you, man, the simple woman will always get selected first. Definitely has a higher probability of being selected for a wife, more so than a woman with very expensive taste. And that expensive taste is often on the dime of the man. Close to the Yah Ministries, kicking it gun barrel straight.